All right, guys, what is up? I really need to come up with a new opening line. What's going on? What's up? I don't know. I got to come up with something because I'm getting tired of that myself. We've got a Concept Knives today. This is the Concept Spirit loaned in from Alice over at Ali Paracord. She makes keychains and all things Paracord. Bracelets. Um, I actually had her wrap my iPhone lightning cable because it matches my car black and gray. So why not? Anyway, let's talk about this concept knife. This is a brand, a company that, and I like made in China. They're OEM for different manufacturer, different um, designers, if you will. And I think they do a great job and you can literally collect only concept and have a huge, vast variety of knives because they make a lot of different models, a lot of different shapes and things like that. And they're in that affordable range, if you will. Um, I don't know. We've never really defined budget, affordable and whatnot. At least not here on my channel. I've talked about it before, but I've never really done a video to, to explain what I think they are. Anyway, this one's affordable at $189. Okay, some people are going to be like, oh my God, that's a lot of money for a China-made knife. When you can get a Kubi for 50 bucks on Amazon. 40, 50 bucks, depending. This is D2 and G10 with steel liners. Okay. That's a 40, 50, $60 knife. This is titanium scales S35 VN running on ceramic bearings with a 3D milled clip. Now that price doesn't seem so out of line, does it? Not to me anyway. I, you know, again, we're not going to really harp on price. But it, it does play into our buying decisions, I think. This is a cool model. I have not seen one online with this anodized treatment here. So I don't know if Alice did this separate or like, I'm not sure. Because the ones I found online were just plain titanium scales. But let's talk about the specs. It's Four and five eighths closed, eight and one eighth overall, 3.5 six inch blade. Um, you know, all the normal stuff. S35VN weighs in at 4.6 ounces, runs on ceramic bearings. Kim Ning is the designer of this one. Now they call it a thumb slot. However, you really, like if you just reach in pick up the knife and go to open it. It's not going to work. You have to really position your hand properly way down here at the tip of that slot and push down and out. It's super awkward. Uh, maybe that's just me, but yeah, that doesn't work for me. You can reverse flick it. If that's your thing, I, I think that's a silly, dumb way to open a knife, but that that's just me. Talked about that for many a moon, and yeah. The fin finish on this thing is really good. Even if it's just raw titanium, you can't really go wrong. It has a reversible pocket clip. This has a bronzed uh, backspacer to match the pocket clip. All in all, this thing is pretty rocking. These are still available. Like I said, the fit and finish is great. S35VN that comes fairly sharp. Uh, and this one just feels good in the hand. I do kind of like this jimping, if you will, on top of the blade, sculpting. I just like the way that looks. Got the name Spirit. Um, the actual model number, if you are interested. The Concept Knives logo. All in all... I don't love this blade shape. That kind of upswept blade is not my favorite. 
I've talked about that before. But all in all, I think the knife is really good. I really do like a lot of what Concept does. That's the Sharpie, the Spider Codelica, and the Kubi that we talked about earlier. And then if you want to go up in price, something kind of comparable in price. This is like um, the Red Horse Knife Works P Series Hellraiser. This is a production series Hellraiser. These are going at about 275 right now, I think, give or take. Also made overseas. Also has 35 VN. Steel liners. I believe it's steel liners with carbon fiber scales and just a bent pocket clip. The pocket clip I don't love. It works great, but it's not my favorite shape and design. But this is a kind of a comparable knife. It is going to be a little bit more expensive because of the carbon fiber. So I think that's fair. Um, but other than that, very comparable. And then if you want to go crazy custom, you can go with the VCH interface. Um, way different stratosphere on price. So really, I like it. It's got some big deep pockets milled onto the inside of the scales for weight reduction. And I think I mentioned, but it's 4.6 ounces. So a little bit less than a D-cell battery. And it really fits great in the hand. The pocket clip works really well. Looks good in the pocket if you're into that sort of a thing. Does have a steel lock bar insert, which acts as the over travel stop. Which is a good question. I personally have never over traveled a lock bar before. And what I mean by that is I have never bent this out farther than it should and had it stay out there or had it stay farther out so it doesn't lock up correctly. Have any of you, please comment down below because I wonder, like I know that we talk about that and how a lot of companies add a lock bar stabilizer or an over travel stop, if you will. But is that really a necessity? I don't know. On this VC Edge interface, he built one in too. The Vandermeulen Blade Works. I don't think there is. No, there's not. It's a really strong lock. So the chances of you overextending it is probably slim to none. Because it's kind of hard to even close one-handed. So I don't know if it's a thing that's necessary on every knife or not. A lot of companies and manufacturers put them in. A lot do not. Same with the steel lock bar insert. A lot of people put one in. A lot of people do not. I, you know, I don't know. Let's talk about the over travel stop or the lock bar stabilizer down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. I will put a link to my concept playlist because I've done a bunch of them uh, up in the corner. And I will put a link to Alice's um, Instagram, I think, is where she mostly is active down below. So you can go check her out um, and her, her products out. She makes a lot of cool stuff. I've given some away. I think she's sending me some more stuff so I could do a giveaway or whatnot. But yeah, go check her out. Give her some love and let me know your thoughts on this concept. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.